Hello, Roman. Back from Connecticut. Actually, back from a whirlwind tour of the East Coast, including two drop-offs of three drop-offs of boats and the pickup of this one. So, um, at any rate, here's your new boat. Uh, I think you made a really good deal, after, especially after after having met with Tim, looking at his uh, boats that he had for six or seven hundred bucks. Uh, I think he had two of these. One was uh, around six hundred. One was seven hundred bucks. He thinks you have a Vagabond instead of a Ranger. We'll do some research and figure that out. But uh, And then he had a couple of other models. Um, so, uh, just wanted to look it over. Uh, the guy found this uh, apparently in New Hampshire and there was four trips and each trip uh, deteriorated more in value until finally uh, he found it filled with sand on the beach and kids throwing rocks at it and that's when he rescued it. Um, it's, uh, I had a pretty good storm last night there is a leak because some of the water's leaked to pack out, um, but it's. Uh, um, I'm not sure. We're gonna. We'll find out how minor or major it is. Um, the uh, controls and uh, steering. We have the original steering wheel, and I think we can probably figure out how to uh, mount the original steering wheel on this updated and modern steering system, rather than using the cable system. Um, the uh, engine, I took off the transom because uh, with all the bouncing, uh, we would have ripped the transom off the boat by the time we got it home. So uh, back here we have uh, the fuel tanks look like they're in great shape. They're the portable fuel tanks. I uh, don't know about the condition of the battery. We're going to put a charger on it. Uh, matter of fact, what we're thinking about doing is uh, actually running, running the boat this weekend and finding out what the bugs are so that we can take care of the bugs while it's here before you take it home. Um, we ought to replace this wood back here. It's uh, it's actually solid, uh, but of course you can see it's been compressed quite a bit by where the motors attach, have attached. Uh, in it. But it does kind of look like driftwood. Um, there's even some some kind of uh, insect holes in here and so forth. And so I'm thinking we probably ought to replace that for you. I'm gonna, uh, before you take it home with you. Um, You'll notice that uh, oh we we took like I say took the motor off and protected the motor with cardboard even though the cowling on the motor was already a bit chafed from something uh, so uh, some of the paint or some of the gel coat was uh, scratched off of some of the cow fiberglass cowling you'll notice the rubber hoses uh, those would have actually been grommets and we can replace those with the proper grommets um, and we can probably hide the bilge pump discharge behind the motor and put some kind of a through hole uh, behind the motor right here so that uh, so that would all be hidden instead of hanging this thing over the side uh, like he had it and then again you may wish to just hang it over the side the way it was done originally um, let's see uh, so I mean there's just not much to it um, again I was thinking about uh, uh, running it this weekend and uh, uh, and playing with it. And of course, we can. I know you're not probably not insured yet. We can do that on our inland marine policy. We're insured for testing boats, so uh, uh, our liability and um, uh, and so forth. Uh, uh, so uh, and any of course any damage, collision or whatever as well. So anyway, um, yeah. And I I think I started to mention. I think he made a pretty good buy. He had seven hundred dollar boats. He had. Uh, uh, he rebuilds the outboards for $3,000. That's pretty much a standard price no matter what outboard if you're in the 40, 50 horsepower range, whether it be an Evan Reed or Mercury or whatever. So um, that's about it. I just uh, wanted to show it to you and let you know that we've got it back at the shop in Russell Springs, and uh, we'll uh, talk to you soon. Oh, and congratulations on the new baby. Great-looking pictures. So uh, anyway, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.